Hey everybody, this is Michael from Barton Musical Circuits. Uh, right now you're listening to the BMC 105 12 stage phaser. Uh, it's processing a, a kick and a snare kind of sound coming from uh, the analog drum and the digital hi-hats. Uh, and it's being modulated by the new uh, BMC 96.4 LFO. Uh, and I'm going to turn the resonance up. Uh, so, uh, as you can hear, our, our frequency is going up and down, and it's going to accentuate different parts of the sound as it's doing it. Um, this is a 12-stage JFET phaser that is uh, based on an old um, guitar pedal design is where I started from, and then uh, started adding things onto it. Uh, it can also be used as a four-stage phaser with just a, a single uh, jumper, pin jumper added to the PCB. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been having fun using it. Right, it has uh, pretty simple controls. Uh, frequency is up here. I'll turn off the modulation, uh, but frequency all the way up and I'm gonna go down with it. And I tried to make the control pretty wide, so for any single sound, there's probably gonna be a lot of dead space on that knob. Uh, but just wanted to make sure you could dial something out on most sounds. Uh, and then this is our control voltage input that modulates the frequency. I'll set it to a fast. So you can kind of hear that on the tail end of that uh, that snare, the kind of up and down. Uh, and then finally we have our resonance control. This is a positive feedback uh, control. Uh, right now it's turned up pretty hot to make it a little bit easier to hear what's going on. Uh, and as you turn it, I've turned it all the way down now and it should sound a little bit cleaner. Uh, and I'll turn it up again. Uh, and you can definitely hear some uh, distortion uh, as you turn all the way up. Um, so uh, to, get, to keep it clean, you probably never want to go past maybe three quarters of the way up, but it distorting I thought sounded cool, so I wanted to make that something that people can dial in when they want to. Um, for inputs, uh, there's two inputs. Uh, in is our audio in, and then CV, uh, that is our control voltage in. And it's a little hard to read because stuff is plugged into it. Uh, and then this knob here is marked output. This is just the output of the filter itself without any of the input signal blended in. Uh, and then what we're listening to now is the blended output, uh, which with that you're hearing the uh, input and the output blended together. But yeah, let me plug into just the output for a second. Uh, so it can, it's still kind of an interesting sound, but uh, it's a little bit harder to hear what's going on when it's not being uh, mixed with the original signal, um, which is normally how phasers get used. But it does seem a little bit hotter also when it's just the wet. Um, I think it's a little bit of a quieter signal when they're blended together, uh, just because it's, it's going to be canceling out more frequencies. Um, so yeah, I'm going to set up the oscilloscope and show you what this is doing to a regular waveform. All right, so uh, right now I've got just a, uh, a standard saw wave input. And I've got the frequency turned all the way up and the resonance turned all the way down on the phaser. So I'm gonna start turning that uh, frequency knob down. And so you should be able to see this little burst of lines there at the phase change start to spread out a little bit. Oh, let me, that was the LFO, let me turn that off. Uh, and so, as you can see, it's getting more triangular, and we're also getting 
just these bursts together of uh, as it's trying to process that like harsh phase change over and over again. And it's getting lower and lower and eventually it's going to get so the frequency is going to be like at the fundamental where it's going to be kind of running into itself. And then past that, there's just no effect once we get lower than the fundamental with this. Uh, so that's just me uh, messing with this by hand. Uh, and then let me turn the resonance up and you can hear it some more. Uh, so this should be a this will be a very different sound. And it's it's a little hard for the scope to sync up with this just because it's such large changes uh, in these little waves here that it, it thinks that's the fundamental. And then we get very fuzzy lines as we get to the top of the frequency. And I actually have my input attenuated down just a little bit on this. Um, let me, hold on. I'm going to turn up the input a little more. And with the resonance cranked and the input turned up, you can start to see these flat lines on the top and bottom, uh, that that is just, uh, some clipping, uh, which is interesting also that when it's clipping, there's no phase changes going on. So... This can also give you a, a chance to create some kind of dynamics in the in the sound where you'd have no phasing at the start of a waveform and then as it decays down, uh, you'd start to get a little bit of phasing. And with the resonance cranked up, around the fundamental it starts getting very hairy, very chaotic. But as you turn that resonance down, uh, it just starts sounding like a regular kind of phaser sound. Uh, and right now we are looking at just the uh, just the output of the filter itself. Uh, here's the blended output. Uh, so you can see on the blended output that clipping is not as flat at the top. Um, but yeah, uh, so uh, that's that's this module. You it uh, makes things sound like this. Uh, uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, uh, I should have more designs coming out soon. Um, yeah.